In this video, I'm going to show you a short rumba by Juan Martin from this book called Solos Flamencos, Volume 1. This book is a really good one if you're into you know, classical Spanish flamenco guitar. It's just a collection of short uh, pieces in the using a flamenco form for every song. Really short, so it's easy to digest. There's even a DVD where you can watch him play all the stuff. And what I like about it is that it's really well notated. Like every single stroke in the left and right hands is, is there on the page. Like there's no question about, do I do a down stroke there? Whatever. It's all in that book. And it uses a pretty cool um, Roomba pattern. And one thing that I like about it too is that we get to work on this uh, combination of golpe, which is when we tap the ring finger against the guitar, like that, and a thumb stroke at the same time, which is pretty weird. So we do a thumb down stroke and a golpe at the same time. And sometimes we'll do a, a, a single string with a thumb, rest stroke, and a golpe as well at the same time. That can be pretty tough. But so let's check the song out. And then afterwards, I'll just talk about the, uh, the rumba pattern that he's using in here. There's a million ways to play a rumba. This one uses this, uh, a, a certain pattern where we go. And I'll show you how to do that after you check the song out. Okay, let's take a look at how he's playing the rumba in this song. Um, we, are, we can use this F chord. Let's do something easier though. Let's do A minor. We'll just leave it on there for a minute. Now, as I was mentioning at the beginning, uh, one thing that's happening here is we're doing a, a, this tap with the ring finger and a down stroke. Let's just leave that out for the, the moment. And you don't have to do it if you're not good at that. It's something to save for later, you know? But we're gonna go like this. Down with the thumb and then up with the thumb and then squeeze your middle and ring fingers together and go down and then back up with the thumb again. So we're going to go down, up, down, up. So this, that's the first half of the measure. So we didn't use the index yet. That's all that's left is just the index. So the first half of the measure, we're using the thumb and the, these two fingers squeezed together. And on the third beat, if you're counting, we would sit on the sixth string. And that's really a great timekeeper so you know where you are. So we're going to go one and two and sit on the third beat. And then all that's left is up, down, up with your index finger. Up, down, up. That's the pattern. So we go down, up, down, up, sit, up, down, up. Switch a couple chords, you know. So if you play guitar already, chances are that you've you've already played this drum. It's like a popular rock song kind of drum. That, that, that pause in the middle where we wait. At that moment too, you could also slap, which is another variation of a rumba that you could do. You might go one and two and slap. And that's for another time though, but get that book and learn this song. And you'll be, it's a good kind of beginner rumba and you'll be on your way to playing more difficult stuff.